this case has like always really blown my mind because I'm like, what is wrong with you, Brittany? She was a good teacher. What type of perverted person are you? I want to know right now. She said he started kissing me, so I kissed her back. Have you done anything with your teacher? Oh my god, that- Oh, oh my god, that's actually the text? Oh my god, oh my god. Brittany Zamora. Dude, here's the other thing. This is what pissed me off in the Brittany Zamora case. Almost nowhere, barely, just a couple outlets called Brittany Zamora exactly what she is. He's a child. Like, I don't know why the media was being all sensitive and dancing around, like, calling. Like, I mean, come on, dude. If, if it was a dude that was, like, hooking up with, like, a 12, that's exactly what we would say first. One in the chat, if you have heard of the Britney Zamora case. Two in the chat, if you had never heard of this before. It really just did not get a whole lot of traction. And it was really fun. Up. You know what? I think the, the main traction this got was an SNL sketch where Pete Davidson was basically talking about how excited he was to hook up with a hot teacher. And that came out around the time of this, bro. Young, beautiful, in love. Oh my God. Britney was married. She was pretty. What a fucking idiot. Like, why? What psychological things do we have going on here? What is at play? Her credentials appeared impressive. On her resume, Brittany Zamora graduating with honors from ASU, a 4.0 grade point average for both her undergrad and graduate school years, a successful teacher at Littleton Elementary School, where she says she was named Teacher of the Year in 2016 and Teacher of the Month in 2017. She was in the process of getting her master's degree in educational administration. Considered such a good teacher, her assistant principal at Littleton Elementary encouraged her to come with him when he became principal at Las Brisas Academy. Yeah, I was the one that told her, hey, the there's a sixth grade position open at that school. That she was a sixth grade teacher. Have any of you guys ever seen the movie A Teacher before? I genuinely like recommend, if you need like a weird movie recommendation, watch that movie because it's always stuck with me. It's basically about a female teacher that falls in love with a high school school student and I think there's actually two versions of this they remade it she falls in love with a high school student and they have like this little romance I'm not gonna spoil it too much it goes very deep into her psyche and it's very fucking disturbing principal Timothy Dickey says Amora worked well with students welcome to practice mm, yeah um, um yeah her? it was here at her new job at Las Brisas Academy in the fall of 2017 where police say Zamora who's married began to groom one of her students a 13 year old boy in her class. In an interview with police, the boy describes the first time they texted over a classroom messaging app, and it started on a day she would be absent from her job. What you're about to hear are the actual words from the boy during I the police know. interview. We've I, altered the recording. Dude, I need to go back to therapy because as a parent, this would unlock corners of my brain if this happened to my child. Uh, before we all left, she, up. she said, hey guys, I'm going to be at school, so if you get bored, text me because I'll be really bored. And I said, I'm Samora, and then she says it back, hi. And then, I, and then we just like started texting. The texting goes on that day and beyond, and the boy says it turned into flirting. Tell me everything about the flirting. Start at the beginning and walk me through it so I understand about the flirting. I don't remember how it got like really intense, but we would like flirt and like say, like, she would like be like, oh, MJ, I love you, and I would tell her I love her too. And then she was like talking about how she wanted to do stuff with me, and I would tell her that. Like, According to police, there were at least four encounters between Zamora and her student that were, quote, in nature. The first time he kissed. Oh uh, my God! No, 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 no. This is a child. That is what she is. The headlines on this said something like, teacher had relationship with student. That is not what this is. I was saying bye to her and I gave her a hug and she like started kissing me, so I kissed her back. The boy says Amora would call him in the middle of the night and twice snuck out and met her in her car for sex acts. Oh, we were really texting, and then I told her that I was at my grandparents' house, and she said, "Let me come over." I said, "I said, LOL," and then with like with, like laughing and I put heart emojis, and she's like, "No, I'm serious," and I was like, "Okay," but before that, we called before. So she came over and I went to her car though. Like she parked at the other end of the street. 
And she said, okay, I'm, I'm here. And then I just walked outside. What the fuck, dude? I'm very shocked. Like, why? If you had a good job, the principal really liked you, you were just married, why would you do this to, to somebody else, to yourself, to the parents, to the school? Another sexual encounter happened on campus in her classroom after a school talent show. We were doing a talent show thing, and while saying bye, we were, my friend were about to walk, and like, she, I was like saying bye, and then I grabbed my backpack, and like, my friend was like messing with her computer. And then she's like kissing me and everything. And like, she's like, you wanna go in? And I was like, what? And she's like, you wanna go in? And I was like, I was like, sure. And then like the same thing, I didn't take my pants off or anything. But she was oh dress, my god so oh my dress. god oh my i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't they she do you guys understand how sometimes it's very difficult for me to like even say this shit sometimes Ms. Amora and my friend touch each other was mr morris um saying anything no they're just doing it it was very uncomfortable so that's why the second day they're doing stuff. I just left the room. Oh the second God. boy would detail an inappropriate encounter that he also had with Zamora. And Ms. Zamora asked me if my thing was um, uncircumcised or circumcised. And I didn't know what that means. So. Okay, the other voice is manipulated to protect his identity. This child's voice is not manipulated. Like, these are sixth graders. Oh, and on her phone, it looked up uncircumcised and circumcised. He says Zamora never went beyond inappropriate remarks with him. And she hasn't touched me in anything. But she would touch the first victim. Screenshots of their chat show they were explicit. In one of them, Zamora talks about wanting to quit her job and have sex with a boy all day. The interaction between the 27-year-old teacher and 13-year-old boy is so intense, students started to notice and reported it to the school principal in Good. February of 2018. Good. Like I had those three students come forward in early February. Okay. Um, they gave me a written statement, and I just I started investigating. Principal Timothy Dickey, the man who recruited Zamora because of his high regard for her teaching skills, now looking into sordid rumors. I pulled multiple students and asked some questions and um, didn't really get a lot of information. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of, um, you know, that she favors him, he gets away with more things than other kids. I was getting consistent stories from all of them. These are rumors, kids shouldn't be saying these things, this could affect your career. It's the same type of thing. Kids spread rumors and kids say things and it's kind of common. This as is an so fucking dark. And dude. that's typically what it ends up being, you know what I mean? Dicky takes notes about the students' concerns. Everyone talks about them having an inappropriate relationship outside of class and at recess. I've heard other kids in my class say that they think they are dating. The day after, Principal Dickey addresses the students in Zamora's class. The first thing I did was that I commended the three students that came to me and gave me a written statement. That's right. That's right. Because I know some of y'all, y'all wouldn't have said shit. Y'all didn't want to be that guy. Look, there's two sides of me. There's the absolute snitch, and then there's the, it depends where I'm at there. Like, people are going to listen to me if I'm feeling insecure or something like that. But we need these people. We need them. If you are that person, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. I ain't mad at you, okay? We need you. So we need you. Those three, you know, I didn't specifically give names, but I said those students that came to me did the right thing. Um, however, the students that are spreading rumors and talking amongst each other, that doesn't help anybody. And that doesn't lead to any solutions. Since all this has come out, like some of them were blaming him and, and couldn't wrap their head around the fact that she's, you know. That it can't be his fault. Mm -hmm. Zamora rushes to talk to him. She started crying eventually okay. and she said, you know, I don't know. Um, the only two things I care about in my life were, you know, my husband and my career. So did you, um, did you ever talk to any parents about the, the rumors? I, I didn't, and I didn't, that was one that I, I didn't want to blow it up, you know? But things would blow up. Mr. Zamora. Brittany Zamora. You're a child. Bye, master. Brittany. You understand me. That's right. A week Did after crying to her principal, Brittany Zamora would ask the boy to sneak out of his grandparents' home for sex acts. Because while Principal Dickie was looking into the matter, so were the boy's parents. I'm here for that. Okay. Uh, 
with our new phone, mm -hmm. and he was wanting to shut his door at night. Do not tell me the parents the caught it. The door open. So on his phone, he has the child version, okay. and mine has the parent version. Oh okay. God. So any keywords that I put in to look for, mm -hmm. whenever it co comes to his phone and message, pictures, anything like that, it will send me an alert. So yesterday I got the alert, and I kept getting alerts back to back because the word baby kept being used. But this time I saw at the bottom that it had Mrs. Zamora Instagram profile. Okay. It's her name. And I'm familiar with her profile name because she's messaged me through Instagram as well. What? So I drove my husband the conversation and then when he came home, we talked to my son. And we told him, you know, we need you to be completely honest right now. We already know the answer to everything we're going to ask. So we just need you to tell us the truth. And so my husband just told him, okay. Have you done anything with your teacher? Did you have sex with your teacher? Mm -hmm. He said yes. He said yes. Okay. Did he elaborate any more on that? or? <laughs> we asked him. We said, how did this happen? And so he told us that he, when he asked for permission to stay after school, to help with the talent show, to set up and make posters. And he said that that's when it happened, that everybody was saying goodbye and he went back to the classroom to get his backpack and in the classroom is when it happened. We found out that on the weekend that he went to stay with his grandparents, she contacted him on his phone and asked him where he was got him to give her the address of my in-laws house told my son my husband's fishing i want to see you and that was oh my the first God. i forgot about the husband i know there's some dudes in here that are watching this right now that are like on the boy side or something this i need you to think for a second imagine you're the husband and you just married your beautiful wife a year or less ago you know whatever you're working you're out fishing and you come home and find out that your wife has been sleeping with a sixth grader. What do you do? Like, honestly, question. Men, opinions, I need to know. And that was the first time that she did anything. The boy's father taking matters into his own hands. The way we actually confirmed the exact homo son, you're going to Texas, bitch. I'm sorry to use this language, you guys want the truth. But I said, you're going to trap her. You're going to make her tell me everything through these messages. I can show you right now what the messages said, and you guys have to start believing. Oh, he's After mad. learning about these messages and the abuse, the boy's parents call police. They also get a call from Brittany Zamora herself. What type of perverted person are you? I want to know right now. You're a child molester. Do you understand me? Um, no. why do you say that? Because oh, you did it! See, I'm a lot smarter than you. Can we meet? You know, to talk about this, do something we can settle out, you know, outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we can do so I can give you a chance to do it to some other kid. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. That's exactly that, what right? we're going to do. That's exactly that's right. right. And make sure you tell your husband what's going on. He is right here. Can he talk to you? Oh, yeah. Put your Oh, somebody said, do you think women get the same treatment as prison as men in the prison? I, I mean, I'm sure it's a lot less harsh, but you know, ladies that are in chat, if you happen to be in a jail cell and you shared a jail cell with Brittany Zamora, you probably wouldn't want to be friends with her, would you? <laughs> no, it's probably still violent because there's a lot of people that have had different abusers at any age. I think if anything, there might be violence, but I think of course she would be ostracized by most people in the jail, for sure. Oh yeah, put your husband on the phone. Oh my She's God. done so much and she made a huge mistake. The biggest mistake of anybody could ever make in the whole entire world. But she think about, you know, God, God for just forgiveness, man. Your wife decided to be a monster and prey on a child. Uh -huh. She scarred my son mentally. For, do you understand what a 13 year old boy did? Have a sex with a teacher? Do you get that at all? Do me a favor. Do not call this number back again. The next time you'll hear from me, we'll be in court. That's right. Hang up the phone, daddy. I, I could have just called him dad. Oh my After God. After talking oh, to the parents on March 22nd, 2018, police arrest Brittany Zamora. This officer has a body cam on him as well. So, um, okay. she was on her way to school. Oh, Brittany, I'm going to no, turn your no, wrist not, in here, okay? <laughs> turn around, Brittany. The doors are closed. You cannot come in here at all. For just over 10 minutes, a detective tries to talk to Zamora about what happened. Did they tell you why you're here? 
I didn't tell you why you're under arrest. No. Okay. Um, it's involving um, that relationship with. Okay. Um, can I only have an attorney? You can. Is that what you want? Okay. Um, will I be going home today? No. She's told she's going to jail. I don't know. They're going to tear me apart. Oh, well, I mean, if you have problems with somebody, you can. Voice that to somebody, okay? Um, and if there are problems, they can isolate you. I am the best husband in the world. Yeah, you fucked up. My hair in front of my face. Like that? No, no, no. In front. Oh, in front, oh, in in front. front. I'm sorry. You'll be wow. fine, okay? We have to stop by them or we just pass them? We have to go in the door by them, okay? okay. I, this is why I really try to highlight like what happens in jail, the court process and everything because some of y'all will let your emotions or your traumas or your sick fucked up thoughts really get ahead of you and you forget about the afterlife that exists here in this life and that is the court system and prison. It's a lot different than the freedom you have right now. If you want to keep your head down, you can. Ms. Laura, did you have an inappropriate relationship with a 13 year old boy, one of your students? For more than a year after her arrest, Zamora denied the sexual abuse allegations, also turning down any request to talk to the media. Her husband declined Jeez. to comment. The victim's family also suing the school for failing to report the possible abuse sooner. The school and principal deny any wrongdoing. I didn't want to blow it up, you know? More than a year oh after- Oh my God, he held the investigation before the parents found the text messages? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. A tearful Zamora stated she was guilty of sexually assaulting her sixth grade student and faces more than 20 years behind bars. Do you wish to plead guilty to each of these charges? Yes. 